Hey everyone, it is five o'clock ish and it is Sunday, so it's time for a so sweet Sunday. All right, we're gonna go ahead and share everywhere. And I'm gonna say hey to everyone. We share it's so sweet to learn. So sweet academy. Teaspoon of sugar. I saw a message come across the top. My fat and buttery. Oh, I thought I was gonna remember. I'm glad I went got my um my book. I teach class. How are y'all doing today? There's a brother and brother group that's here too. Does anybody know of a better way? I keep saying, oh, I figured it out, I figured it out. Have not. There we go. The PE and the Avenger. What do y'all, one more, one more, one more. What's the name of it? Uh, I'll have to go back to that one. Okay, anywho. Kendria, hey Amelia, hey Mom, hey Tammy, hey Tamika, hey Monet, hey Kanita, hey Angela. Hey, if you didn't have a class, happy birthday. Wait, what do you think we can have a class? Hey Phyllis. Oh, thank you though. Thank you for the happy birthday. Y'all, my birthday was everything and more. Hey Phyllis. Hey, Ann. Hey, Judy. Hey, Belle. Hey, Wendy. I just finished my tutu class. Oh, I want I want to find out about tutu class. Hey, Andrew. Y'all, I... Will someone make me a tutu? Because Angela won't make me a tutu. Let me just put that out there. She won't make me a tutu. She says, I, I'm too big for a tutu. I don't believe that. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Sandra. Um, oh, oh yeah, y'all didn't get to see my birthday. <laughs> hey, Latasha, hey, Tina. Angela, you're so mean. She says, and she won't. I'm gonna learn how to make my own tutu. Mm. I'm gonna spend a million dollars on tool, but I'm gonna do it. Hey, D. All right, so y'all, guess what? I literally just got back from Florida today that's why i'm running a little late because i had some stuff to do um here at the house i'll teach you but it, it's more sentimental if it comes from someone that is a pro at making tutus don't y'all agree thank you susan um thank you jamie susan said happy birthday and jamie said welcome home all right all right all right all right my mom says no tutu y'all are some haters i'm just saying Um, <laughs> I cannot with y'all. I really can't. Hey, Isaiah. Thank you for the happy birthday. All right, so we got to get started, don't we? So let me tell you what we're going to do. My tree. Do y'all see this? I set up a Christmas tree. There's no gifts under it. I still have not. I need to get a tree skirt. So that's what we're going to be doing for a while. We're going to, we're going to be decorating my tree via So Sweet Sunday and all the other tutorials I'm about to be doing. Um, because I have a ton that I need to do over the next couple weeks. But my tree has the stocking that I did in the hoop. I can't pull it off without pulling the whole tree down. Um, it has some burlap, it has some pink stuff, but I feel like I just need more stuff that I've made on there. So we're gonna try making, a, oh, here's another one. This one's Kira's, we need to put it up. And then I took the, um, I, I did a whole bunch of like trial ones in the hoop. This was a part of my, Black Friday um, 
or it was like an early Black Friday tutorial. I have not released it yet as an individual tutorial, but I might. I might. I have a lot of people still asking me about it, so I might release it on my website for sale as just like a regular tutorial so that you watch the replay. The other one, we all hopped on Zoom and we did the um, stitch out, but yeah, it's all done in the hoop. I don't think I even have a bigger one here. But anyway, that was, watch the replay from um, last week. You'll see all about me talking about getting ready to do that one. But this week, I want to do some other ornaments that are going to be cute for the tree. And I want to do it out of felt. So this is really, y'all, this legit is like a trial and error. I have not tried this one before. I found it on Etsy. Um, and I just was like, I think I could do this. So I have some felt. It's going to be made out of felt. Um... I'm having to plan my tutorials, I mean my So Sweet Sunday, a lot more because y'all know I took a lot of the stuff. I either got rid of it or I took it to my warehouse to free my house of all of the clutter. And in doing that, in doing that, I have nothing here. I used to be able to just stitch what I had here at home. Can't do that so much anymore because I don't have anything. Thank you. Latasha said the stocking tutorial was a lot of fun. I agree, y'all. <laughs> it was fun. Hey, Alyssa. So, now, look, let me show you, because, you know, I always have to get you all's opinion, and I'm not going to drag this out, but I know, I mean, I miss y'all. When I when y'all see me dragging stuff out, it's because I miss y'all, and I just don't, I don't, you know, it's, it's me and Kira here, and then I talk her head off, and then, you know, all that stuff. So, where are y'all at? It's bright. So, you see those? I copied and pasted two of them on there, and I did it really quickly, so I really, really, really hope that... I did it in the right order. We'll see. Y'all know me. We figure it out as we go and we have fun. So with that being said, the felt is going to be the background. I want to know, I need y'all's advice. So I don't have a lot of this, but this one is definitely thicker than this one. But I want it to be cute. And my tree is not so much gray. It has more of like a, you know, burlap -y tan color. I got this felt from Joanne and I've already used some of it. It's a 12 by 18. And I need enough to do a front and a back. So what do y'all think? I'm thinking the grayish color with a green tree and pink ornaments on the tree. Apparently this is my favorite little look get up. And the ornament thingies will be maybe like a light pink. I don't think I have a Kara. Will you go grab me a like a rose gold color from the sewing room? Oh, or the metallic one. All right, so what, what say you guys? What say ye? Which, so, okay, I'm, I'm going to make an executive decision. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. Front and the back and the dark. Okay, grayish for sure. Unique contrast. Oh, y'all are killing me now. I don't know. Jawan, grayish for sure. I need contrast. Hey, Miss Margaret. Amelia, I, I, I'm aware that you vote metallic. I, I already knew that. I already knew that. I'm, I'm very much aware that you vote metallic. But um, someone said that I need gray contrast. There's some smaller ones. Oh, okay, because you looked on this wall. Look on this wall up here. Here, but you can take these. Well, no, I'll take them back when I'm done. She brought me a lot of light colors. Like ro bring like the rose gold, like the like another one. Kanitha, y'all, y'all be killing me with this voting for metallic. Y'all just like to see me struggle. But I love the end result of the um, of the metallic also. Um let's see. That one might be too brown. This one has two, yeah, it's too brown of a color. All right, so we're okay. So we're going with. Did we vote? Did we vote for front light color and back dark gray? Is that what we voted for? Are we doing both here? Because I was worried that I don't have enough of this, but. What did we do? I mean, we can always do two sets, y'all. Yeah. Well, not on here, but you know, in, in life. We can always do another one. And it's thick. It's pretty thick. Um, I got it from Joann's. From, I had to wind up going to the crafting section because I wanted to buy the squares of it. I didn't want to buy the... Uh, I didn't want to buy it by the, the bolt. By the yard. 
Susan says it's too dark. You got to get some Madeira. I'm making an ornament. I got some filth in my mouth. Yeah. All right. Susan said it's too dark. Okay, I agree. I y'all, I kind of I want to I want to do this one. And if we run out, then I'll do the felt on the back. But I want to do this one, even though it's it's lighter in weight and in color. But I think once we put the green and the pink on it. Kira, are you done getting me thread? There's like a metallic one. There's like a metallic pink down on one of the lower, lower shelves on the lower level. All right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go with it. I cannot remember if there is a placement stitch on here. And just in case you're wondering where I got it from, so Mary Beth on Instagram, not Instagram, on Etsy. Oh, thank you, Susan. Thank you, thank you. So this is like a scribble font. It comes with several different ones. Um, let's see. Star. It's like it's what's wrong? No, that's not it either. No bueno. Um, what's in the water bottle? Definitely water, but look at it. Did I oh I didn't switch y'all. Hold on. Ooh, hey there. So yeah, I look I look tired. I need a look, I need a little nap nap. But the water bottle definitely has water. And it definitely has, remember the embroidery nutrition facts that I have? I have the t-shirt and the sweatshirt. Oh, so that is a part, I forgot, I put it on the top, but that is a part of my Cyber Week sale. Um, everything like this is 30% off on my website. But, yes, yeah, the nutritional facts. I'll read it to y'all later if you want. Hey, Nina. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started, and hopefully she gets the stuff to us because we're kind of dragging this out. Yeah, we're dragging this out, y'all. Come on, hurry up. Let's get started. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. All right, so I already hooped the fabric. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if we have a placement stitch. Let's see. Uh-oh. All right, so we're gonna kind of do it backwards in the sense of it's gonna go placement stitch, stitch down the whole first part, and then it's gonna stitch down the whole second part, and then it's gonna do it. Because, like I said, I did this right before we got on, and it, um, I, didn't, I didn't move everything around, and I don't feel like I have time to effectively move it all around right now. So we just we just gonna we're gonna run with it. But when you're doing yours, y'all, I guess we're not getting the metallic thread. I guess I guess my girl just kind of gave up on looking for us. Y'all see that one? You see the one that says joy? Y'all know why we got joy? Because that is what we named our elf on the shelf many moons ago when we got one. We had it. I wish I was like big into embroidery when we had when we first got joy because I definitely would have done a cute um, little outfit for joy. All right, so let's do like a goldish color or oh, let's do brown. So this is what's going to outline it once it's done, done. Um, and remember, when you all do this yourself, because I expect you all to do some yourself and then post it on the It's So Sweet to Learn group, you know, especially like on Mondays when we do um, so and tell. I definitely expect you all to make some ornaments for your tree. All right, y'all. Susan said drag it out as long as I want. I got a lot of stuff to do, but I'll, listen, I can. we can be on here for, y'all know me. In the beginning, if you all don't know, go back and watch some of the ones from the beginning. I used to be on here for like two, three hours. Um, okay. So, I can probably skip this first one. And go straight to green. 
Where can I find the design? Rhonda, it's on, um, it's on Etsy. I found it on Etsy. Oh, no, I'm not going to skip that one because I want to know how high up my thing is going to go. So we're going to do the first one. Actually, we're going to do a green. Y'all want like a green green? Is that just white fabric? Nope. It's That's the stabilizer. And this is the, um, we're going to use felt. I got the felt from Joann's. It's a little while ago. All right, this color green. I kind of want like a dark, like a. Nah. Maybe this green. I think I like this green better than that green. Let's add in that green. And we're off to the races. Be ready, press the foot down, green means go. I really hope I thought this part through. Now the weird part that might trip me up just a little bit is at the very end where I where it tacks down my ribbon that might trip me up a bit so when you're doing them when I downloaded it it definitely has just one tree at a time but I wanted to do two so I um, I merged them together follow me now I merged them together and then I took one of them I moved the end stitch outs to the very very end so that I could do the back part but you'll understand then if I had more time, I would have had it to where it goes tree, tree, scribble, scribble, you know, stuff like that. But you'll see. You'll see. Trust the process. And like I said, I really hope I have enough for the back. I think I will. Yeah, I think I will. Next, we're doing the scribble. Let me be sure I tell y'all what I suggest. 
especially if you're gonna walk away like I did, um, make sure you can probably like use spray adhesive or something to keep that down. I got lucky that it didn't pick up because this is thick enough, but pin it down, use spray adhesive, something like that. longer than I expected. So I hope everyone had a beautiful, wonderful Thanksgiving. I did. I spent it in Florida with my dad, my sister, my niece, my mom, Ken and Kira. And um, then my best friend drove down on Friday, which was my birthday, and we had a good time in Jacksonville. We went to brunch with my mom. We went to iFly. That was an experience in itself. I cannot wait to download the videos <laughs> and the pictures. And then we did the nightlife thing. That was definitely fun also. I went live and then I later deleted it. <laughs> so this scribble, hey Monique, this scribble definitely takes a little longer to stitch out than I thought. Uh, it's not long though, it's only five minutes. Super duper cute. Um, and I'm gonna do the ribbon, where did it go? With something like one of these colors. That's not it. I'm not done telling y'all about my weekend. Um, then, so what was that? Saturday, Saturday morning, we got up and went to Daytona and went shopping at the outlet and had, oh my gosh, y'all. Have y'all ever heard of, well, okay, you've heard of oxtails, but you know, usually it comes with peas and rice. This time, there was grits. Y'all know I love me some grits. I love, I wanted shrimp and grits. But I had that the night before at the rooftop um, bar slash restaurant that we went to. What color is the next thing? We need like a gold for a star. Uh, oh, here, let's use this one. Um, so, ooh. that's very gold. Okay, we're gonna go with it because it's what we have here. But, um, oh my gosh, so yes, they had oxtails and grits y'all so you know i had to try it because first of all i love oxtails i love grits <laughs> so why not and it was so good then we went um shopping so why didn't anybody tell me that at a certain point i.e as soon as you have kids it it is like enjoyment to actually buy for them because I was like at the outlet and I, I barely bought something for me and I know she's in the back listening but I barely bought anything for me but the more that I bought for her I was like oh my gosh she's gonna be so excited oh my gosh she's gonna be so excited nobody warned me about that okay now I see why my mom still shops for me but yeah the outlet trip was supposed to be for me for my birthday but it wound up being for here and for Christmas. Oh, that's gonna be cute. Okay, star is complete. Now we need a little trunk. Tree trunk. Tree trunk. What 
color for the tree trunk. Hey, Caitlin. Tree trunk should be brown, but let's talk about it. So do I want, okay, so one of the browns is gonna be, I think I want this dark brown. I think I want to go both of them outlining it. So the main takeaway here, when I, when I first started embroidering y'all, I got so hung up on these colors. I thought I had to have the exact color that they said I had to have. And then I realized I didn't. I realized I can basically do what I wanted. Oh man, it was on and popping. All right, tree trunk, green means go. Hey, Raquel. Oh, look, it says, hello, everyone. My first time watching. Oh my gosh. Y'all know what we do when it's someone's first time. We say, hey. Make sure you say hey and welcome. If this is your first time, I mean, yeah, if this is your first time, hashtag first time, something like that. But definitely, definitely understand that we have a good time here. Um, we, we just have a good time. I don't know what else, to, what else to tell you. We stitch, we have fun, we mess up. Y'all, we mess, we mess up. And then we get it right. But welcome, I am so glad you're here with us. So, all right, metallic, metallic. We're going for it. So this is King Star Metallic. Um, it's a little darker than the pink I would prefer, but it's all I got. I don't have anything else. So it's gonna do, it'll do. That'll do, donkey, that'll do. Uh -oh. um, Raquel, I, I'm gonna try to behave, but just know uh -oh. Do we have fun here? Behaving is not mandatory. It's just a suggestion. But we try. Especially when we're using metallic. Okay, so the, shall we bow our heads and um, <laughs> pray for our metallic experience? Uh-oh. What's going on? Are you not ready? Okay, let's put it on the um let's put it on the thread tree. And Amelia will lead us in prayer <laughs> to make sure this metallic goes right. Uh thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yay, look at all these welcomes. Okay, I'm at the okay. All right, y'all ready? Ready, thready, go. And I'm doing it all one color. This particular one, it gives you the option to have different colors, but I just, I, I merged them all together. See, so if you were doing different colors, now would be the time to change, but I just, I changed them all to the same. See that, same color. If y'all are just joining me, that's what we're doing. It's gonna, that's gonna be the end result. But when I was merging them, I didn't do both trees. I was kind of in a rush. I just, I didn't want to leave y'all waiting. I mean, technically, I guess I could do some in this regular gold color too to match my actual tree because it's rose gold and gold. But I need to go up in the attic. I think I'm missing some ornaments. They're upstairs in the attic. Uh, I still have to get a tree topper for the tree. I think I have, y'all, I think I have one. I'm pretty sure I have one. Unless, oh, I wonder if there's like a in the hoop tree topper. Have y'all seen that? I, just, I knew, I felt something, felt something wasn't right. Amelia, all right, Amelia, let's go back on that prayer. Let's get your prayer life back in order because we just 
skip through. I saw, I saw that something was. Something just wasn't right. And you know me, we always check the bottom because you just never know what happened underneath there. What lies beneath. All right, so it looks good. I'm not gonna bother it too much. Not gonna bother it too funny. Uh-oh. Slipping the thread. This is the back. The back is looking good so far. That's about the best. Um, the best that I've seen the back look on one of these. But we're gonna cover it, so it really doesn't matter. But I'm still impressed to have the back looks. Y'all, don't be scared. Don't let this scare you. Okay, you just. Back it up about a good 10 stitches. Okay. Back that thing up and get stitching. Okay, just start over. And then you watch it. You watch it like a oh, hawk. You watch it like I wish you would. And then it'll act right. I'm telling you. Hey, Peggy. is we're doing two <laughs> so if you missed the first part of it we're doing another one oh let me think did i eat anything else good this weekend oh okay what else did i eat so aside from thanksgiving food you know we all had that uh oh i don't know why i did that um aside from you know the typical turkey dressing ham Greens. Oh, so on Thanksgiving, the night before Thanksgiving, when we got to my sister's house, probably around eight, nine o'clock. I don't even know what time we got there. But guess what we did? We ate Thanksgiving dinner. Like we ate up all her Thanksgiving dinner the night before. It was not our fault. She had it cooked. We were hungry. We were on the road, and it was there. So we all fixed us the plate. And she had to go back out to the grocery store that night and buy some more food for us. But we're very untraditional when it comes to that. Because then the next morning, we just got up and started eating. I, I don't think we have ever done a sit down, this is the time that we're eating kind of meal. It just doesn't work out that way. We do the traditional meal. We just don't do the traditional time and traditional sitting there, all that stuff. Okay, one more. Uno mas. Kingstar is the type of metallic I'm using. Um, I trust it. I trust it. The first one that I used was by Clarkson Coats. I mean, I trust it. I have a couple of trust issues. There's some designs that I just don't play with it. And I just, I just don't, mm -mm. I just don't let it play with my emotions that way. But this one, I definitely trust it. Okay. So now, remember when I said that we we're doing two of them? And I didn't completely order it the right way. So now we will just start back over with our green. Was this the green we used? Yeah, this was the green we used. Um, okay, so let's, let's get this show on the road. Do all of my holiday items, my Christmas items. I put my 
listen, I'm one of the ones, I know, I know, if you guys feel like Thanksgiving is getting skipped, you definitely don't want to come to my house because I, it's not that I skip Thanksgiving. It's just, it's not. I don't, I promise I don't because my birthday is always around Thanksgiving. This year, you know, it's the day after. Sometimes it's on Thanksgiving. Um, it's the same day as my mom's birthday, like all that. We have the same birthday, everything, all the fun stuff. But let me tell you what happened. Christmas is just so much more fun to decorate for. So I end up decorating for Christmas. That's really the only time of the year I decorate my house. I usually change out everything, put garland on top of my cabinets, um, do my mantle. I don't know if you all can see it a little bit, my mantle. I'm not done with it. I gotta hang the stockings by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nick would soon be there. Y'all, you know how it goes, right? You, you get it. Um, but, <laughs> okay, sorry, I cracked myself up. But, um, but yeah, so I, I just, I don't know. I like, I really enjoy decorating for Christmas. And the sooner the better, y'all. If I, if I technically had all of my stuff out of the attic on December 31st, I would wake up on November 1st and decorate. But I didn't. I had it by like maybe the 10th or something like that. No, was it the 10th? Probably two weeks ago. But it's not that I skip Thanksgiving, it's just that I love to decorate for Christmas. And I said all that to say, I love to decorate for Christmas. And I am guilty as charged, one of the ones that skips over Thanksgiving. But I'm thankful. I'm thankful, I promise. Hey Jocelyn, hey Teresa. I'm, I'm thankful y'all, I promise. Hey Shirley. So, yeah, I, I have no other excuse. But I do have a lot of work to do this week. So, it is no time. was on here it's the same thing that's on the shirts and everything oh I just so this just came in the mail um it's on my website but I ordered I ordered one for me I don't make this personally but I ordered one for me it says embroidery boom y'all have probably seen me read this off my shirt nutritional facts serving size one gifted crafter that would be us Woo -woo, we're gifted daily um percentage daily value blanks 300 percent mistakes uh, whopping 2,000% because we make a lot of them. And in those mistakes, we have broken needles. We need a seam ripper. That's a thousand, a thousand. I think I, I'm not a nutritionist. So I think I did these facts right because I made this up. I made it up myself. Uh, passion, y'all. We got to have a lot of passion. And you got to have 2,000% passion. So that means as much, as many mistakes you make, 2,000%, you have to have as much passion to offset that, okay? Because some days it gets rough. And then thread, we 500, yep, 500, we need thread. Angela, you need, you need more thread, Angela. That's a running joke because Angela has all the thread. And then creativity, we're creative. We have 1,000% creativity. And then it's not a significant source of failure. Percent daily values are based on your unique gifts and dedication. So, oh yeah, I love it. I love everything that I, I came up with a design and I just put it on everything that I can now. <laughs> Angela's laughing. Um, Fran, hey Fran, I am embroidering on felt. I got it from Joann's. Hey Katrina, got it from Joann's. It's the felt, they're bigger than squares. They're 12 by 18. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but every so often I just go pick some up. I like to just have them. You can do ornaments, you can do little felties, you can do all kind of little stuff. What's next? Our tree topper. Tree topper. We're gonna do it. 
gold. Maybe one day on my live, we'll do, like once I get everything on my tree, because I have some cute ornaments that have our pictures in it. Some, I gotta find it. Some sentimental ones where Kira made stuff. One from when I was in second grade and I made stuff. All that fun stuff. It just stays. It stays with us. Is it the regular felt that can be found at Walmart? As long as it's thick. This is kind of thick. It's not the regular like thin felt, but it's a little thick. You could put burlap behind it to make it a little thicker. Uh, I'm just going to double this up. You could probably use a thicker stabilizer. My stabilizer is just a tear away. It's pretty thin. I haven't, I'm not a really big fan of this stabilizer that I have, but for projects like this, it's it's working. There's one that I got. Um, I got this from sewingmachine.com, but I might have just ordered the wrong weight. I think that's what happened. I think I ordered the wrong weight. Don't ask me which weight I need. I don't know. I, I have it written down somewhere. I don't know right off the bat, but it's just, it's thin. But it works well for this, so we're going with it. We're going to use it up. Whoa. Give me some chopsticks. Hey, Victoria. this ornament thingy and I'm gonna tell y'all about it on Tuesday Tuesday during our zoom oh Friendsgiving was so much fun you guys we talked and once again I don't know what it is with me I'm I guess I'm just not a music person I love to listen to music but I always forget to just start the music because I wanted to have music in Friendsgiving we had eggnog Sounds like a good idea. So I'm, don't judge me, but thank you, Victoria. She said, are you, or she's saying you are, I don't know. I think that's a compliment. Thank you. But so when, I don't know, I, I believe in like, if you're gonna do it, do it, like go all the way. So Kira and I, we have eggnog. That's like our tradition. We have a lot of traditions centered around Christmas. So I personally like to drink my eggnog out of like a cute cup. It's usually like a wine glass or something fancy. I don't care. So if I do it, I let her do it. So my egg, my eggnog, my eggnog is spiked. Okay, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody, you guys. But my eggnog is spiked. Hers definitely is not. But we add nutmeg to it. So it's just a thing that we always drink it out of. Like, a, is it a goblet? Like a goblet kind of thing with a stem. What do you call it? I don't know. I don't know how to make up stuff. So I, I've always poured it in that. And then one day I saw her making her own eggnog. And she grabbed one of my glasses, one of my like wine glasses. And I had to stop her. Like, what, what, are you, what are you doing? What are you about to make here? And she went and got her eggnog and poured it and just sat there. Fancy. And drink her eggnog out of my little, you know, <laughs> stem glass, all that. So that just trips me out. That just makes me laugh because clearly she enjoys something's not right. It's that one. It's something about that one. That one doesn't like to be stitched out. That one is not a fan. That one is not a fan. So one, two, three, four. The fourth ornament on the stitch out. He just says, you know what? I've had it. Just give me a fresh piece of thread. Now that's just with metallic as far as I know. I think it does right with the other one. 
Uh oh, and then I didn't cut it. Shoot. Let's just cut it there. Y'all know me, I always check underneath. Make sure it's not a bird's nest or anything. I think we're good. I think it just I think it, it just gets a little tangled somewhere along the way. Press the foot down. Hit okay. You might have to back up a couple stitches. Let's go back about 10. And let's go back a little more. Ten may have been too much. Okay. Sometimes I can hear it. Yeah, I hear it. Don't tell me I gotta go underneath and do something. What are you doing? I really hope there's nothing underneath there. There's something stuck. All right, we're going to try it one more time. It's fraying. That's what it's doing. It's fraying. You see it? A little fray action going on there. So we're going to cut it way far back. Sometimes when it frays, it's cut it far enough back. We're going to put our bobbin back in. We're going to be real nice to the little machine. Say no good words. Good word. Uh-oh, I, I hit too hard. Sorry, sorry, machine. I didn't mean to slam it. I'm going to put on a stabilizer and I hoop back on. Say nice and gentle words. We don't get to use our colorful words yet. Our sentence enhancers. Mm -mm, not yet. Right, Rhonda said, don't be mean to her. Listen, machine, listen, machine, we love you. Okay, it's just a little metallic, just a little metallic thread, that's all. Let's leave a little longer of a tail this time. Press her foot down. Hey, Patty, hey, April. Remember, y'all, we'll talk, we're talking nice to the machine so it can, so it can act right. That little pickup action, that's fine. But I want to cut my little thread here, cut a little excess, just make sure you don't get in the way. Take it to the spa, a little spa day. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. right, guys, let me tell you, you know what we got to do. It's not fraying this time. Oh, we were so close. Look at this doing. My bobbin is coming up. Ooh. I think we need to find a little nickel. Do I have one of those? Kara, do you have a nickel? Huh? Can you find me one? If you're wondering, Alexis, what do you need a nickel for? Your machine doesn't take tips. It does not. But it definitely is easier. Uh, let's try a dime. It's definitely easier to... Oh, there's my tweezers. Sorry for all the noise. Whoa, sorry. It's definitely easier to unscrew these things with a nickel or a dime or a penny or something like that. Because, okay, the truth is, I never know where that screwdriver is. To tell you the truth, tell you the truth, that's the truth. That's the truth. All right, so if y'all are just joining me, just hang in here. I'm just doing a little bit of surgery. Giving a little checkup. Checking the baby out under the hood. Oh, I don't see no 
that, but I was really hoping to see something. And I don't feel like it's anything up here at this end. Y'all. Is this metallic? It looks like a little piece of it. It's not metallic, but it looks like a piece of what shredded. I don't know. It might be. <laughs> Take you off of the two just in case. Uh -oh. Okay. Are y'all okay in there? I think we're good. Okay. Where's the verdict? see here. All right, now let's put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Sheesh. You don't have to put all this. It just depends on what order you want to put it back in. Oh, I usually do that so that I don't lose a screw <clears throat> because I have lost a screw down in there before. Hey, Vicki. I mean, if you can find your screwdriver, it works well too, but I really enjoy just using a dime or a nickel. Usually I have a nickel and, and listen, how did I stumble upon a nickel? I think that's what I had in my pocket that day. And it worked. All right, little buddy, we just gotta get through one more of these things. Nope, we have about four more ornaments to get through. That's it, do we need to, let's just, I'm just gonna shave some of it down in the back. When I say shave it down, I mean like I'm gonna just cut loose off because there's a lot in there. It could be what's going on with it. It could be a little bulky. I'm gonna go to the other side. Take some of it out. Don't cut the green. I need better lighting over here. Okay. All right, then I'm gonna grab a. Come back here. I'm gonna grab a tweezer and just pull some of it through. Some of what I just cut out. Because. that you had to come in on this part. The machine is, you know, it's doing the little machiney thing that it does, but it's okay. Is that my stomach? I don't think I'm hungry. You guys will never guess what I had to eat today. I'm not taking all of it out. Keep that in mind. I'm not taking all of it. I'm just getting. I'm just clearing some of the bulk. I think we're okay. I think that's what happened. I think it's it, from that first time that the thread broke. I think it had too much on the back.
Don't worry, none of this is gonna show through on your design. Okay, I didn't I didn't plan on clearing the whole thing, but I kind of, have y'all ever gotten obsessed with thread and trying to take it out and you're like, okay, I'm just gonna clean some of it. And the next thing you know, you're like cleaning all of it. Okay, I think that's enough. I think we're good. Oh yeah. My mannequin just scared the mess out of me. I literally looked up at the corner of my eye. It's standing over me. I forgot. I forgot that it's standing there. Alright, do we need to re-thread you up here just in case? Just in case you're not feeling right. I probably shouldn't have pulled it through that way, but Okay. Make your words soft and gentle. All right, girl, you got this. Okay. Okay, we're good. good. Shrimp tacos, nope. But I do love that. Um, no, Joyce, I don't have a new machine. Well, new, well, no, it's not new. Um, I wish. Nope, not shrimp tacos. Close. Very close. What's it doing? It's um, it's bird nesting, but this time when I looked at it, the bottom wasn't in right. Sometimes when I, I always notice, I don't know if this happens with your machine too, with you all, but it never fails after I take everything loose at the bottom. The bobbin always gets caught in the wrong position and it doesn't catch right. So I usually have to start stitching, watch it for a moment, and then replace it, then it'll act right. But I think we're good this time. I just was pulling, I don't know. Just remember last time we had too much back here and it got caught. Try skipping, yeah, that was my next thought, um, Susan. Skipping forward a little bit, a wee bit. Ooh, what was that, Kira? Luckily, y'all don't have anywhere to go. So when you're doing stuff like this, do not give too much counter pressure on the back. And if you start to see that your stabilizer stabilizer is getting compromised, throw another piece underneath. But And try not to dig. So, okay, okay, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. Okay, I know I said I was stopping, but I have to get this so that it's not white showing through. Um, I told y'all, most of this is just figuring out your mistakes. That's all it is. This this last one was. Um, I don't know if I want to blame it on me or the machine. But oh, 
Okay. Okay. We're back in business. We're back. Who said a prayer? Who said a prayer? Good point. Vicky said uh, water soluble. Is that what you mean? Wash away? Water soluble? W it's WSS water soluble stabilizer. Sometimes that does help metallic to go through better. Um, the bottom, I'm just using the tear away. But I have been known to see a tutorial or two and they used. Sometimes I just loosen it up. Sometimes I don't want to do it. All right. They have used the water soluble on the top. It just helps glide. All right, y'all. My bad. I was holding my breath because we're making it through, but I don't want to speak too soon. We still have three more ornaments to go. But, Vicki, I have. So, yeah, I have done that. But usually, to be honest, I don't whip it out on this until I'm having problems like this. And I'm like, oh, what else should I do? Then I grab the water soluble. But good teaching point here. If you all want to avoid this from the beginning, you could probably use water soluble to start with. Last one. And we're gonna leave that one. We're gonna leave that one there so this thread can think about what it's done. It's a little, it has a little bit of white showing through. A little bit of bobbin. Itty bitty bobbin. Oh, and Kira made some banana pudding. That was super duper yummy delicious. Okay. Now, let me think about this one. I gotta think like, I don't really understand what this next piece is for. I don't really understand this next piece. Hmm. All right. So this next piece, it looks like a little chicken foot. And I think it is to hold down. Oh, no. I didn't put that on there. We got lucky. I think it's to hold down the 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 it holds down the little hanging ribbon. So I can ribbon enough up here. Gotta be. Okay. So what I think I might do is, should I let it stitch first? Let me think, let me think. So it's just like a little chicken foot that goes up to the top. And if I don't let it stitch first, then I won't know where that thing goes. So let me think about it, let me think about it. Okay, let's try it. Let me try it, let's try it like this. Uh, it's going to be that brown color. That's what color I'm going to go around the whole outside of it. Vicky says I use it on everything. I use it on the majority of things. I'm just going to be honest. I don't use it on every everything. But it does make it stitch out prettier. It like gives it more of a consistent stitch. So I definitely understand why you use it on everything. Moments like this that I really wish I was a digitizer because then I'd understand what this next step is. Okay, so let's just do it. Let's figure it out. Yeah, it's definitely a placement stitch. But I can't place it until I know. See that? 
That's the little thing that it did. So I'm assuming that if I just put my ribbon somewhere over the top of that one, we'll be good to go. Kira, darling, will you please bring me some tape? Please. So what I'm thinking, hold on, when I tape it down, I'll show y'all. But why wouldn't it go there first? Hmm, I don't know. Is your cut line for the hole? Is my chicken foot for the hole? Hold on, I'm not done yet. Not yet. <laughs> My chicken foot. <laughs> I got you calling a chicken foot too. So one thing I did not do is see how long. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing. Give me one moment. Oh, y'all didn't guess what I ate. Okay, so I had crab legs. Y'all know me. I could eat crab legs almost every day. Crab legs and corn and sausage and potatoes and, oh, I forgot to eat my egg. I thought an egg and crab in a crab bowl was the craziest thing ever until I tried it. It's kind of good. Remember when I didn't eat the egg here? Now I definitely consume my own egg. In my uh, crab bowl, I did not give it to Kara. Okay, so that's a good point. On oh, the picture, let's see what it says on the picture. I bet it can't. No, on the picture, y'all, it's not there. Watch this. Watch, watch this. So I just taped it over the back covering up the chicken foot it's not a chicken it's like a placement foot delphine yes you were the closest you said seafood you know me so well okay i gotta give you that you know me so well you do you do you do all right so what we're gonna really pray for is that we don't go over that with our um well, let's spray it. Let's use a spray adhesive. Sorry, I know y'all can't see, but we're almost done. I didn't really want to change the camera. We're going to put our other piece over the... Uh oh, do I have room? Do I have enough space? Yeah, let's do it this way. We're, we're looking a little scarce. On the coverage, we're going. the coverage is needed. We're looking a little scarce, y'all. We might have to. We gotta get creative. Okay. <laughs> Somebody didn't leave enough room. You're taking some pudding to school tomorrow. Is that what I hear you say in there? Is that what I heard you say? I think. I think this is enough coverage. Let's see. Yeah, that's enough. Huh? All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna hit it with some spray. Hit it with spray and bond. It's not required if you don't like using spray ad adhesive on your projects, you don't have to. This is not a peer pressure situation. Just what I do. See, see, I'm not going crazy. That looks like a chicken foot. Look at it. Give me a thumbs up if it looks like chicken foot. Thank you, Delphine. Okay. All right, I think we're all set. I don't feel like it's going to move because we have that piece underneath. So this is just going to be, and I put it underneath the stabilizer. Make sure it does not roll up because we definitely don't have a lot. We are going to speak beautiful words of completion because we don't get this right. I'm not 
not sure what the chicken feet gonna do. Well, the chicken feet. The chicken feet is a little. Does it look like a chicken foot? Yeah. Kind of what it's supposed to be though. It's like a placement stitch. That's what we're trying to figure out. I don't know. Oh. back to a certain point. I have a file that has it. Yeah, I mean, that kind of makes sense too. And it's not in it. where my ribbon goes I've seen um, files before where it didn't tell me it, it placed it and then it tacked it down this one just looks a little different so keep that in mind when you're stitching some whoever digitized digitized it they they do it different ways so just don't be afraid to see it through and see what it's going to come out or why think it through why it has that stitch Other than that little confusing part, which wasn't too, too confusing because I, I figured that's what it was for. I don't know what it is. But this was a really good, really well digitized project. Super simple. If you have a multi-needle, you could probably do a ton of these. Finish embroidering. All right, let's see. cleanups right right now because you all have been here hanging in here with me for a moment um friend said where's the design from i'll link it i'll be sure to link it before i post it on uh, youtube but it is from so mary beth on etsy i wish i knew some of the some of the digitizers i know and I actually reach out to them before I stitch their design and just kind of let them know where the traffic is going to be coming from. Some of them I don't. I just stitch it because I like it. I'll tell you what. I will link it and I'm just ten. I don't, I don't, I don't know if this is if I should or not. I'm gonna tear off my stabilizer. Um, I will link it on the YouTube, so that way you can go visit my YouTube channel. Deal, deal. Wanda, is that a deal? I usually get my YouTube video up uh, no later than like tomorrow, but I think I'll have it up today. All right, so let's grab some.
like me, what is it? Like, subscribe, share, bell notification. Thumbs up. Comment. Leave a comment. All right, make sure you don't cut these loops off. You need them. How else are you gonna put them on the tree? So I'm just gonna do some trim work. Almost got too close. Now we're going to on the on the let me show you. Can y'all see the design? They did buttons, they did a plain tree, they did I should have done one plane. They did all kind of stuff, but they cut it fairly close, but they didn't cut the line. It didn't mention the knife you used for the patches. Oh, okay, I'll add that. Um, I don't think I had that on there because it, it's not necessarily an essential, but it is an essential if you're doing patches, so gotcha. Note taken, but I'm just gonna cut around it. All right, so let's cut down the middle first so I'm not cutting as much at one time. I'm gonna leave less than a quarter of an inch around this is listen this is where it's go time remember everything we learned in kindergarten how to cut it's go time it is go time cut except for now we're cutting outside the line Whoa. It's a little finicky. Oh, baby. Oh, don't forget. Okay, where am I going to put this guy? Ooh. What do we do with that? Just a reminder. All right, so I'm gonna cut. Okay, look at this. I'm holding it down with my finger to keep it out of the way. Now I'm doing one layer at a time. Ooh. Hey, Denise. Tell me, felt was tricky, and I know some of y'all have done felties. I know you've probably done them different from what I'm doing. But let's see if we get the same result. Do I have to cut both of them? I make some strange faces when I'm cutting. <gasps> it's cute! We still have to free this little piece back here, though. Now I'm going to hold this to the front. It's got to be a better way. Who digitizes on here? What am I doing? are a little shaky. Number one. One down, one to go. One down, one to go. We we got close there. We cut it close, literally. Literally. I'm 
just moving this out of the way. Thank you, Rhonda. I agree. I think it's cute, too. I think we, we chose well. Uh-oh. Cut a little close, too. Don't listen. Don't forget about this little guy. Even if you have to loop it around your finger somewhere. is you got to keep your mouth open. That's the trick. Especially you going around the corners. It's like mascara. It's like applying mascara. Your mouth has to be open. Sometimes you got to bite your lip. Frown up your eyebrows. Look down your nose. Y'all, I'm this is serious. I'm just my I this is reflexes and I'm just describing it as it goes. Blink a couple times. Your heart is racing. Face. Victories within the mile. Shot, do not miss your chance to blow because opportunity comes once in a lifetime. That song came on the radio the other day, and Kira was looking like I was crazy. I turned into a whole rapper. Yikes. This is so cute! And we have ornaments. We're going to be making a lot of ornaments this holiday season, y'all, you because know, i got to fill up that tree. And then, um, like the little jump stitches, I'll go back and do the rest of them later. But just, you know, snip a couple of them. Or not. I don't know if y'all noticed, in the store, they don't snip jump stitches. Mainly because they're like mass producing. So don't be so hard on yourself. If you see a bunch of jump stitches on your thing. I'm just going to do this one. I'm not doing both of them. <laughs> oh, and this is not the one that we had all the trouble with. beautiful we have a cute that's so cute so cute super cute that's really cute cute yeah remember when i used to say that in y'all's in y'all's tone of voice cute <gasps> super cute oh my gosh that's so adorable he goes says adorbs is that eve eve says adorbs all right are y'all ready to put it on the tree kira come hither Y'all see me? There was something going on a minute. Okay. Oh, come here. That's not what I want. Come here. Come, 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 come. Come, come. Are you dressed? Yeah. Okay. Would you like to deck the halls with me? Oh. Put this on the tree. All right, which one you want? Wait. Well, one of them I cut the jump stitches, one of them I didn't. This one? Okay. All right, y'all. Look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this. This is a dirty job. This is a dirty job, but somebody has to do it. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. All right. We are. Now you guys get to decorate the tree with us. All right. Where are you going to put this? Um, okay. Where are you going to put this? Right there. It has to be front and center so that I can even see. 
Okay, but it can't be against that. Against what? The bird rack, because it blends in. Somebody on the live said it would blend in. Somebody was right. That's what I'm on the Okay. Does it blend in, though? Probably. Mm. Y'all, we need our own TV show. This is good. Alright, so I'm putting mine over here. You can't really see it. All the the burlap is everywhere. The burlap is everywhere. Let's just sit it. Let's just sit it somewhere. And then tuck it underneath there. Mm -hmm. Alright, you guys, smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. Susan said, looking good. So, okay, you may have missed the beginning, Susan. I don't have a tree topper or either. Okay, so either I do have a tree topper. I think because I had one last year and it was pink. So either I do have a tree topper and it's still in the attic because I thought we got everything down, but clearly we didn't because I'm missing a lot of things. Um, or I, I don't know. Or I don't know where the tree topper is. So I still have, that's not, oh, that can be the tree skirt. Let's see. No, it is the tree skirt. No, it's not. That's what I usually use for my um, Ender event. So, um, what I usually do, I, I, I think I buy one every year at the end of the year. I don't know. Here, go under the other side. And just pull it. It's not going to work. It's going to work. It has to work. It's not going to work. It's going to work. Back of it. I can do it back. Oh, y'all hear those bones popping? Okay, so it doesn't have to fit perfectly back there. It just has to be pretty. Welcome to my house, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we now have a tree skirt. And yes, I do need a, oh. A little bit of a workout. But yes, I do need a tree topper. Um, I might see, um, Kira, Miss Amelia said, hey. Um, I might see if I can find a good design to stitch out, like on my multi-needle or something. If you all know of one, let me know. But... We have a tree skirt. Can y'all see it? And it's sequence. That just, that worked out perfectly. I love when things come together. So that's it. Um, I'm going to probably go find some more felt and do some in another color so that it stands out a little more because somebody on here might have to go back and read the, read the comments. Somebody said do gray, but I wasn't loving the gray. But it does blend in a lot with the felt, I mean, with the burlap. So we'll figure it out. But that is all that I have for you guys. Um, this was fun. Thank you for joining me today on So Sweet Sunday. We definitely did a ornament for the tree. We did two ornaments for the tree. And the design came from So Mary Beth. I will be linking it on my YouTube be sure to go back and watch that. If you are not a member of It's So Sweet to Learn, hop over there. That's where all of these replays are housed. And also, they're on YouTube. I have So Sweet Academy. If you want to have a lot of fun like this, we do stitch outs. I have a library of tutorials that will help you learn to stitch and troubleshoot like this. And then every Tuesday, we hop on Zoom and we strategize game plan you bring any of your questions any of your troubles any of your wins any of your solutions all that stuff we're just one great big happy family and we do that cyber week is now cyber week is now and i think i did it right i did it myself i set my own cyber week sale on sosweetacademy.com so check that out this is my newest uh, edition there's one on there that's um that has the so sweet academy logo but this one is the bomb I love it, I love it, I love it. Earlier I had coffee in it, now I just have water in it. What would you want in it? It's refreshing water for me right now. But um, you're welcome, Ra Raquel. And that's all. I will see you all. I will see Academy members on Tuesday. I will see um, mentorship students on your selected, not on your scheduled nights. I couldn't figure out how I was going to say on your scheduled nights. And I will be going live in a couple other groups for the holidays. The DIY Craftsmas group, that is one of them. 
and I think I'm working out a date to go live in the virtual applique getaway group. It's just been so crazy busy, but I'm going to think of a lot of different projects to do between now and Christmas because, and I wanted to early Christmas theme, so. All right, that's all I have for real, for real this time. Remember, you guys, it does not have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty. Um, I truly enjoyed this time with you all. I traveled back early to make sure I got back on here to go live for So Sweet Sunday. So I appreciate you all for tuning in as I um, stitch out for you. See you all later. All right. Bye. Be safe this week. All right. See you back here. Five o'clock Sunday.